The Chinese People's Liberation Army recently conducted joint military drills, projecting its own J-20 Mighty Dragons as a potential aggressor aircraft amid a proliferation of US F-35 stealth fighter jets in the neighborhood. The Chinese People's Liberation Army practiced air defense with the PLA Air Force. The Air Force sent a J-20 stealth fighter jet as a mock enemy in a move experts said could simulate attacks by a US F-35, a stealth aircraft. China's J-20 Mighty Dragon has steadily become the mainstay of the PLA Air Force and is now reportedly operational with all five theater commands. The country is known to be increasing production of this fifth-generation aircraft. This development comes a year after it was disclosed in March 2022 that the Lockheed Martin F-35 stealth fighters came in contact with Chinese J-20 jets at least once. The commander then complimented the Chinese fifth-generation aircraft in a rare admission of that kind. It's a bit early to say what they intend to do with the J-20, so really all we've seen it do is air superiority. But it was noticed that they are flying it pretty well. We recently had, I wouldn't call it an engagement, where we got relatively close to the J-20s along with our F-35s in the East China Sea, and were relatively impressed with the command and control associated with the J-20. In January this year, a broadcaster aired a video of a J-20 squadron, saying it had done an excellent job on regular patrols and controlling the East China Sea Air Defense Identification Zone. At the same time, social media was abuzz with claims that a J-20 may have intercepted an F-35 fighter jet. China's drills that simulated an F-35 attack, the exercise strengthened the Army and Air Force units' integrated combat capabilities by tying the command and firepower chains between them. The Army Air Defense Brigade and the Air Force unit communicated air information during the simulation, allowing them to establish a network of air defense weapons quickly. The report stated that the opposing aircraft unit immediately altered its formation to take advantage of the steep terrain and breach resistance at a very low altitude. However, the defending side could still lock on to the targets. According to the CCTV report, the defending side could deploy countermeasures after the attacking side conducted an unexpected strike at night and used strong electromagnetic interference. An Army anti-aircraft artillery gun was able to track and shoot at an Air Force J-20 stealth fighter jet when flying low. A Chinese military aviation expert Fu Qianxiao told Global Times that the U.S. and its allies had ordered many F-35 stealth fighter jets, primarily intended for ground attack missions instead of air superiority missions. Fu explained that in this case, the Army's short-range radars, infrared and optical sensors, as well as an air defense artillery guns and missiles mounted on highly mobile vehicles, become significant while the Air Force's long-range radars and missiles may lose their advantages as a result of the F-35s choosing to penetrate air defense from low altitudes as opposed to high altitudes. An analyst told Eurasian Times, fifth-generation aircraft operating as a mock-up of an adversary fifth-generation fighter for various roles is pretty common. The F- 35 is the most common and numerous fifth-generation aircraft the PLA faces. So absolutely, they would be preparing and planning how to counter them and likely been doing so nearly for two decades since the F-35 first emerged as a project.